Southeastern PA Community Watch out on the streets. Looks like they have a little stand here handing out health information out in public. So we'll go see what they're handing out. And look, when's the last time anybody has seen that? So as you see, this one does not have a receiver. This one does, but I still wouldn't put two cents in either of them. wonder if they actually work. Wow. Well, let's go see. I had to go see those cell phones. Oh, those uh, pay phones. That's great. Hey, guys. What you got? Um, Hi there. These are human words. Signing folks up for state benefits. We're giving yes. out free food. There you uh, go. Because we believe that healthcare is a human right. It is. Thank and you. is it not a human right in America? It's not a human right in America. It's yeah, not? It's not. No. Really? How's that possible? <laughs> I mean, because money rules. <laughs> so money is keeping people not being able to get health care. Well, I mean, specifically. That's the okay. cost of, of private insurance and the cost that, you know, hospitals and medical institutions use for price gouging of folks, putting them into debt I mean, for like, basic needs. Uh, yeah, uh, well... We believe, we believe that it, it, if I may, if yes, I yes, perhaps, please, please, yes. that it is a capitalistic profiteering system hmm. that benefits what we have currently. And it benefits those 641 multi-billionaires in the United States so that they get richer and, and then we struggle. And when I say we, oppression doesn't happen equally. Well, you have right? to remember that America is an illegitimate corporate government. Okay, read the Act of 1871 and it'll tell you how we became, went from a republic to a corporation called USA Inc. Mm. We are all being traded as shipping vessels on mutual funds. Go look up your QCEP True. number. Why is there a gold trim on the American flag in yes. corporate buildings? We have a history of, of, yeah. of, of so, imperialism. You're, you're correct in the point that it is a very money-hungry, evil, vile system. The for-profit prisons. Yes. The way the police nowadays, not that it's good or bad, they, are, they extort and harass instead of serve and protect. To some extent, you know. Um, so, what organization are you guys? I see your shirts. No. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. This is us. So we're um, we are put people first PA, but we are also a part of the national Martin Luther King's Poor People's Campaign. Why is it saying non-violent? Is there violent Medicare armies? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, because we've got army. The idea army. Yeah, it's based off of um, essentially. One of Martin Luther King's last goals was creating what he called the Nonviolent Poor People's Army, which right. was to get, um, you know, an army or a collective of poor individuals from across the nation to then That's travel collective. to. That's an interesting DC. word. The word uh, collective reminds me of like communism, Marxism, socialism. I, I like freedom and individuality. And that's what America is really all about, you know. But hey, to each your own. If you guys want a collective, a group, there's nothing wrong with groups. That, that, that's for sure. Instead of collective, he chose the word nonviolent army. Yeah, that's what everybody should be. You know, I always said I'd rather change things through ballots than blood. Okay, but good luck because I've been an activist for many years, and I hold my government accountable beyond belief have been tased and arrested and fought in court, Great. won every single time, but it gets very expensive. And all it is is I want to hold them accountable yep. well, for their Well, then you should join us you know? so that we can join you, so we can hold ourselves and our government accountable. Because unless, because the, the way this is happening is through, you know, through the divisions. The so way how do we you guys go ahead. the status quo is by dividing our you know, So how do you Republican. hold your government accountable? Because I could give you a million ways how I do it. How do you guys hold them accountable well, for we're, not two things allowing. that we're doing right now is doing two legislative campaigns that we're trying to push through the PA governmental system. One is to restore uh, dental benefits in med- mental benefits? Dental. Oh dental. In uh, Medicaid um, because it's treated as a luxury when in reality Lack of dental care leads to extreme health deficiencies in heart many cases, heart disease, death. disease, death. 
Um, yeah, it's always also, good to go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, and the nope. thing is to try to institute a uh, public health care advocate office within the. Um, they don't have that now. We do not. And oh, you guys. Yeah. Uh, they do have those offices, but your there, group does there not. There are no, no, no. in the state. There's one in California. I think there's one in the Pennsylvania does not have one. Pennsylvania hmm. doesn't have one, which would be a office that advocates for patients so that they know their rights while they're in hospitals. So I have a question. So you know Medicare, Medicaid, uh, Social Security has all been stripped blank. It's, it's a Ponzi scheme. So who's going to pay for any more benefits, or how will that be funded to pay for extra dental care and other things like that? We believe that our we country will save has at least 900 million on. What's that? We will like save at least 900 million, like the state itself, on excess medical costs and you know essentially the blunders of the medical system. Well, I know a good way to, to make a lot of money is stop dropping bombs on innocent people yeah, overseas yeah, for no yeah. reason at all. Yep. Well, they spend trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to slight the billionaires or millionaires. They got there however they got there, and, and they're such a small minority, you know what I mean? You have to go over the, at the monster. The world. Well, there's the problem. That is the problem. So you have people, places like you know, Google and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter that are censoring people from, you know, America is bound on the First Amendment, which gives you the right to dissent. It gives you the right to discuss. It gives you the right to say words that hurt people. But when they censor that, where are we going? You know, I mean, just because you may not like what I have to say, that doesn't really give you the right to either attack me nor censor me. And, and that's what these billionaires are doing. And it's actually, they, they, they work for this illegitimate corporate government, the Googles, the Twitters, the, the Facebooks and all that stuff. And, and, and you're a young generation and were born with these in your hands. I was not. We were, we were able to enjoy our livelihood and, and our freedom and our young growing up. And, you know, and good for you guys for loving something and, and being active in your community. That, that, that's super. Um, you just got to be careful what we wish for because we just might get it. And what that means is be very careful of your wishes because some, some things that you wish for may go backwards. So, again, so to, to fund all this extra stuff that you guys want, it seems to me that the taxes would have to go up, you know? Well, if you want, you can leave your name and number and we can get back to you with more information about how this is all working. Yeah, we'd love to get your contact yeah, I'm, I'm very private. You can go to my YouTube channel if you want to write it down. Sure. It's Southeastern PA. Southeastern PA. Community Watch. And it started out as a cop watch, which is the wrong term. It started out as this, it's the wrong term. So I, I, I'm a community watcher. I go to my school board meetings. I go to my council meetings. I go to my police stations. I go to my senator's office. I go to my representative's office. I... That's why I'm always thrown out. I'm always trespassed because I want to film me holding them accountable. How dare you? They don't want you to. How dare you do that? They don't want to see you. Yeah. Uh, get them. Get them. Uh, so I'm trying to get to the, the health department up here on Fernance. Of course, it's closed today, but I, I called the communications director three times to sit down as, an, as a journalist to discuss things questions answers that's what they're there for that's what we paid them for so i never got an answer so i'm going to go this week coming up and just bring my news crew and just show up you know i'm sorry i tried to be polite i tried to be professional i tried to ask for permission or not permission but a date and a time you know nothing so the disgust and the disdain this government has for its citizens is my problem so i don't pick sides i don't pick Republican, Democrat, I gave up voting because I know the truth and, and really what it's all about. Uh, just like a driver's license, people call me a sovereign, I'm not at all. The sovereigns are the police that get away, the politicians that get away, they're the sovereign people. They don't follow law, we follow law. But do yourself a favor, if you're interested in the truth, read the Act of 1871. Before that, the 12 states left the Union for the Civil War. The southern states left. That's when we ceased to become a government. We've never been a government since. It, it, it's, it's amazing history of how America became what it is today. So do you guys do other things um, besides just sign people up or, you know? 
Yeah, we're we're a statewide organization. So. Statewide. Yeah. This nonviolent medical med yeah. Medicaid army. Well, that is actually a national formation. Okay. Put people first. So we're organizing, trying to unite Maryland. Pennsylvania, getting a public health care advocate passed. So good. So that's so you have an organization that is nationwide and statewide. Yeah. And so would you consider militias equal to you guys because they also are fighting for the rights of people and you know have groups and organizations throughout? And, Sorry, what was the question? I said, do you, do you agree that you're almost like not you almost, but the, the, the militia and, and organizations like that that have organizations locally, statewide, nationwide. I, I, I guess to me that that's very similar. That, that you're organizing for your own cause, you know? Well, we're, we're trying to organize, and I think that may be one difference. We're trying to get people, orga like the unorganized, organized for, to help meet their needs. So, like, it's, we don't consider it, like, our cause. We're trying to hear from people what they need. So are you guys like, Republicans or Democrats? you independents? Yeah. Neither? Yeah, we're politically independent. Do you guys vote at all? Not, I mean, this is a personal question. Don't do not ask. Yeah. Do you still vote? Yeah. And who would you who do you vote for then? Because it's a two-party system, you know what I mean? Yeah. So your voting I mean, choices are bad market. and worse. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so why That's even true. vote? Then they bullshit you to get in and, you know, shit like that. So you guys... Coming out tomorrow too? No, we come out every second Saturday. Every second Saturday, and, and right here. Mm. Mm. So you fight for human human rights. What's that? You got militia friends? Uh, no, I'm I'm too independent. I don't have any friends. I I just know how to protect myself and, and, and know what to do. Yeah. So do you guys believe in the First Amendment and freedom of speech and all that stuff? And and, and then filming in public and good. So your main concern is though health, I guess. Yeah, healthcare. That's what we. That's what our campaign is around. Nice. But we recognize that this this right is like tied to housing, education. It's tied to so many other things. Well, I I have to agree that money is being wasted and it could be spent better. Yeah. You know, I've always said, you know, why don't they fix our roads, our infrastructure, our schools, yeah. our elderly, our the homeless, you know. And how about here at Northtown building that new courthouse? A birdhouse? New courthouse. Oh, court. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, of course. How do you think they pay for all this? Yeah. Through extortion and false arrest. You know, I, I was always taught for there to be a crime, there has to be a victim. Yeah. The state, well, the state I cannot mean, be a victim. I mean, if you'd like to learn more about our group or movement. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it for sure. I'd love to. Um, yeah. yeah. I love you. Um, as long as our philosophies are all on the same wavelength and things like that. Well, they may not be, but that's okay. We can talk it through. Oh, yeah. Well, at least you're doing something yeah. um, right, wrong, or indifferent. <coughs> that, that, that's a good thing. Yeah. And, and the most so, important... Who funds you guys? Nobody. You all volunteers? Yeah. So you make up your own shirts and your own pamphlets yeah. and your own food? Yeah. I, really? Those of us who can make wow. a monthly donation. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man, that's interesting. How many members do you think you have in the area, in the state? Um, in Pennsylvania, how many members do we have? How many? 115. 115 in PA. And we've got yeah. like folks Nationwide? In, what do you think got you got? around Pittsburgh. Nationwide in Martin Couple. Luther King's Poor People's Campaign. It's a good number. I mean, there were thousands. There were thousands. And it's uh, William Barber and I mean, some really incredible, you know, people clear clear and 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 respectful and committed and you know we're, we're not gonna label you know we're not gonna label ourselves yeah, everybody we're wants not a gonna, name we're not gonna you know yeah, say you. that we're with any we, we absolutely you know will not you know get Sorry, into we're about to close up this tent oh. don't want you guys to oh you want me to it. help on this side yeah, everyone take a poll and we'll do the, uh, the yeah, bottom bit first. Because we so feel that, you know, be it black, white, Let Republican, Democrat, we're all getting... And then you're going to... Well, we, we are, and we're all so one. The 99%. Well, no, you're, you're, but you're but right. it, at somewhat slightly different levels, Gotta click it. you know, well, because you that's how it works. I've always said you can't feed the monster so everybody should stop paying taxes because the 18th Amendment was never ratified by two-thirds of the state, so collecting your taxes is actually an illegal act. Years ago, I don't know how old you are, but when I was young, when you signed your taxes, right below it, it says, I voluntarily pay. 
Yeah. Well, people started looking at that and saying, well, I'm not like this bomb tear, I'm not paying. Well, they took that away. Yeah. So good luck and see what happens when you don't pay your taxes. So we have to come together as a nation, as one love for freedom, no matter what we believe in for the common cause to at least break away from this system that we have. Right. This, this is That's so true. bad. It's so bad. So bad in so many ways. So you have your little loves and, and wants, and I, I have more of a broad want, which everybody, well, we're, we're similar. I think we we're are. similar. And I think at this point, we feel that we cannot sustain our current um, uh, form of economics, political economics. Well, of course economy. not. We're 100 trillion, billion, zillion dollars in debt, and, and they're and adding how more. How many jobs can one person have, you know, before, you well, know, well, well, right. There's just not, it's just, it's unsustainable. You know, we, we no longer need, you know, you an, know another okay. person working at McDonald's. So, so we believe let, that there are the resources and the technology. We have oh, the resources and technology for everybody to have their basic human When rights. I was young, I said we would have, you know, the flying cars of this utopia. But then as I got older and realized what they do with the money they steal from us and extort from us, well, they just waste it. I'll tell you what they do. They, t they compete to go to the moon. That's what they do. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, you know. Uh, That's the priority. I just feel bad because they're coming after our First Amendment right, our Second Amendment right. You know, they want to take guns away. They want to take our free speech away. They want to do this and want to do that. So I know where it's going. I'm a student of history. Just look how Nazi Germany was formed. Just look how you know, three was formed. Going into a China was formed. Pockets. Russia That's was formed. It, it is. So we, we, again, have to stand up as a group to yeah, fight the monster. Right. And even if we don't get into some of the details, about eventually, right. but we know that you know we have to continually, continually be on top of our of ourselves and our government because we are fallible. Correct, and that's why I go knock on doors where they live because they won't come visit me. I can't find them in the streets. I have to go to their houses. You know, they call them houses, their offices, their buildings, and and they have stormtroopers that sit outside and tell me I can't come in. Well, I pay for this building. I, I pay for your salary. I pay for your gun you're going to shoot me with. I mean, what? Hello? So we have these brain-dead, extremely low IQ people that are the bullies and the tyrants that protect these evil, evil people. So it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be just interesting. I'm listening to how a lot of these uh, fast food chains have closed signs. I hate my job. We're closed. You know, we're not working in this crap job. We're closed. It's okay. just, it's hilarious. Well, well so, so two things. You so know? they're paying people to sit at home uh, out of hardworking people's money there. And that's insane. That's not how you better yourself. That's not how you better society. And then all this mandatory stuff. Are you, you believe in mandatory vaccines or anything like that? No. Good for you. Because anything with the word mandatory in front of it really should be illegal. I mean, maybe they should have mandatory can't have a baby. You know, sometimes or whatever. The America's know, having less and less addict, babies. But, you know, there's no law yeah, against that. I, so fought, I, I, I fought CPS, you know, with my cameras. I, I know how sad those situations are with children and the foster systems. And yeah. it, I'm a social worker. <laughs> oh, well, then, you know, oh, yeah. God, oh my yeah, like, God, oh. how do you do that every yeah. day? Well, my I work God. with seniors. I'm a therapist right, for good, seniors. Good, because I would have so to I, shoot I myself. Too. My God. Uh, Dan. Dan, nice to meet you. What's your name? Anna. Anna, hi. Yeah. So you live in the area? Yeah. No, okay. Street, yeah, I'm in Tango Prussia. Yeah. But I mean, these guys keep me sane, you know what I mean? Because like, I do this shit and I want to like blow my brains out. And then yeah. I come to them and it's like, oh, breath of fresh air. You know, we don't have all the answers, but we do know that we have to come together and fight the 1%. No, no, we really The do. ones who own all this shit and are holding it. Well, I'm not for wealth distribution or anything like that. I'm for everybody to stand up on their own accord with their own talents and their own skills to succeed in life. You know, it's 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 just like the wild. We are all animals. So in the wild, if you can't stand up and feed yourself and take care, then you die, unfortunately. Not that I would ever want that to happen to anybody. But that's when the state should step in for those who can't take care of themselves. Not just give it out willy wood to anybody for any reason, just because their own cause to get elected. State funds and government agencies are there for those who need it. But it's grown into this monster that yeah. it's just wild, that's unstoppable. And, and I think I think everybody needs a, a feel, it needs to have meaning and have a you know job. No. And, Life is and, worthless without it. Right, yeah. you know. And so I think I, I you know I won't call it wealth distribution. That could be your word, 
but you right. know, but definitely there's way too much over here and not enough over there. Uh, you know, period. Correct. If you look at it in two groups, period. there's way too much here and not enough here. Now, what yeah. is there and what is here? Well, we can there discuss is forever. 641 yeah. people. Yeah, well, own again, everything in the yeah, U.S. Yeah. That's where there is. It's, it was called a monopoly back in the day, which right, was illegal. Right. It's but now it's legal. It's all yeah. profiteers. It's all pirates. It's all. It, it's a wild west out there. So why can't we carry guns like we used to? You know what I mean? And I think we can. We, no, we can. <laughs> okay. I thought. I thought with no, the last I checked, joking. I thought we We're going to debrief. All right, guys. I don't want to hold you up, man. Enjoy your your activism. Tell me your name again. Dan. Dan. I gave him my YouTube channel. Southeastern PA Community Lab. Yeah, come come join us sometime. Yeah, check it out. And you know, some videos are funny, but some are silly, some are sad, some are boring. But it's all me holding my camera against the government. There's 300 or more videos on there, so enjoy. Have a good one. All right, guys. Hmm. All right. To each their own, they say. Interesting. I truly believe they're a Marxist socialist group, but hey, at least they weren't extreme, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. I don't judge. I just point the camera and show the world. All right, on to the next. <laughs>